So the problem with booking a holiday is this website called TripAdvisor. If you've been anywhere near it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Basically, this website reviews every single hotel in the world. Which is a good thing, I suppose, except for the fact it means that every single hotel in the world has received at least one terrible review. <laughs> and it's only those reviews that you believe. <laughs> which makes it very difficult for you to decide on anywhere to go on holiday. First of all, who in their right mind is writing these reviews? I mean, seriously, who goes on holiday, comes home, unpacks, and just goes, right, now for the review. <laughs> I felt the towels were very coarse on my skin, not what you'd expect from a four-star establishment, which is why I've given it three stars after much deliberation. <laughs> Two ice cubes and a Diet Coke, unacceptable in capitals. <laughs> and you read these and you take them seriously, you think, oh, I don't know about the Coke in this place, the Diet Coke sounds really bad, the towels might scratch, should we go to this place with the scratching towels? <laughs> and then you find one you like and it looks amazing, big five-star reviews, five-star, five-star. Paradise, it says. Paradise, heaven. The best hotel you'll ever stay in. Oh, it was just the most miraculous two weeks of our lives. We were picked up from the airport on a unicorn. <laughs> Flew us to our destination, which was so wonderfully beautiful. The beds were so comfortable. The fish would just come up and sacrifice themselves on the plate. <laughs> the kids' club was so good. We left two of our children. It's a better life for them. They're happy again. <laughs> And you're sitting at home and you think, this guy thinks this is it, darling, this is the one we should go to. Everybody loves this hotel, but you keep searching and you'll find it. Page 36, one star, the waiter slapped my wife in the face. Ha! There it is, they've got slapping waiters. We can't go there, you'll be slapped all day. 